Hey everybody, it's Rich and Alex here with this week's What's Hot. So, what's hot? We got a lot of cool stuff in the yeah. store. Spring has almost sprung. We've got lots of pretty colors on the uh, table here today. So, let's get started with some lures. So, we've got a bunch of Savage oh, Gear yeah. stuff in. Let's talk about these dragon tails. These things are really, really cool. Mm -hmm. So, they got a really <clears throat> unique shape to them. If you see these large ribs here that create a lot of vibration and disturbance in the water. So they're gonna really have a lot of cool action. It's a very, very soft plastic too. You can see how easy they move. And if you'll notice, this is where the hook will go towards the head and the tail follows all the way through. So the body of it looks the same size, but it's gonna have a ton of action mm -hmm. in the back in this tail. So these are gonna be really, really cool for jigging. Right. Um, it's really deceptive to the fish because it looks like this big bait. Mm -hmm. but there's really actually not a whole lot there. So we were talking about how we would rig these. You could trim the head and put them on a jig head right. traditionally, but you had some cool ideas about oh, yeah. doing the rims I mean, that we this. One of the biggest things, like uh, Rich has mentioned, the, the actual action of this bait. Uh, <clears throat> actually rigging them weedless on the six inch for snake in mm -hmm. fish almost fish are like a fluke uh the bigger sizes you can actually put a bigger hook on there and fish them in the flats uh, yeah. for you know those spring rockfish up there yeah absolutely. when they have that season open up so great lures definitely something new in the market that kind of you know covers that a uh, little bit different look and motion yeah out there. and we got a couple <clears throat> different colors in we got the pink chartreuse white all those all the great mm -hmm. colors that, that work well in our waters um, so definitely want to come check those out, get stocked up for springtime uh, striper jigging. And then uh, keeping with Savage, we've got some of these really cool sand eel pencils. So um, I know you're a big fan of chucking stuff like this oh, for, yeah. for uh, mackerel. So let's talk about them. Yeah, so we got those little 3D printed uh, sand eel uh, baits, but they also look almost like a little bay anchovy. So that will be great for the summer, uh, casting to breaking mackerel. And we also have an upgraded size there. You know what they say about, you know, throwing some bigger <clears throat> pencils out there and just jigs and whatnot. Sometimes you get some bigger fish on that. Biggest thing with that is just their, how realistic they look. Yeah. Uh, they'll definitely give you a little bit of an edge out there for yeah. this macro. And those would be really good for, like, using uh, maybe some of the, the pen battle high-speed mm -hmm. reels. Oh, yeah. You know, for the macro, you can really get you good. good uh, rhythm going yeah, with that rod tip and have that faster retrieve mm -hmm. and really rip them through the water and get those mackerel fired up. That's going right. to be a cool bait. And then it's a solid construction to them as well, so those toothy fish are not going to chill right, which is great. So we also have some Savage uh, Ned Head rigs uh, down there, so let's talk about those for a little bit. Um, great for bass fishermen. Mm -hmm. Load those up with a, a Ned rig, or you could even do some worming with them, uh, but those will be pretty cool to kind of fall flat to the Oh, yeah. Uh, and then even for, like, uh, perch fishing right now, yeah. I've been throwing them out there just with a a little bit bigger plastic, like you said, Ned Rig. Mm -hmm. uh, even the perch love them, especially yellow perch right now this time of the year. Yeah. yeah. So it definitely works pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go with the uh, the Storm 360 GTs. That's a really, really cool color. Mm -hmm. We just got restocked on these. I noticed them when we opened the box, and I'm liking that color. I love it. It's natural, clear water, you know, match the hatch this time of the year. And one thing we talked about before, it's the actual change on the body. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more natural with that wider frame on there. Uh, they're definitely going to match the hatch out there, especially for your shad fishing right now in the spring in fresh water, and also rock fishing out here in the bay. We'll definitely match those peanut bunkers pretty well. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. They're going to be a good one. Um, so let's talk about these Shimano reels we have. We've got the new Altegra in stock, so pretty mm -hmm. cool. They these awesome. Huge upgrade from the mm -hmm. previous version. So the previous version was a graphite frame, graphite rotor cup. These actually have the CI4 frame nice. with a graphite rotor cup. So not to be confused with the Banford, this is um, a couple series down, but it's super lightweight. Mm -hmm. It's got the Micromodulus 2 gearing in it. Really, really nice reel. Um, very Stratic esque but a little bit different. Mm -hmm. It's a step down from the Stratic, um, but these are going to be a really good reel to have in the boat this year. Oh yeah, 100 percent, especially with that long stroke spool. Mm -hmm. Gains you just a little bit of distance with that. Uh, definitely going to be using some of those myself. Yeah, and they're going to pair well with, uh, you could put a Zodius. Oh yeah. You could put those on a Zodius mm -hmm. and with that CI4 frame. They're a little bit heavier than Vanford, so, but it would still feel nice on that. But even on a standard rod um, that's not, you know, that, mm -hmm. that higher carbon uh, material, it would definitely feel good. And like you said, with that, uh, you know, 
composite body don't really have to worry too much about corrosion yeah yep it's yeah. so, a great thing on that mm -hmm. sure so let's let's talk about these jig heads that we have down here from uh 1724 a perry and farm i'm not sure if i'm saying that quick <laughs> right but these are really really cool jig heads for wreck fishing mm -hmm. that's one of those jigs that uh I've actually used a lot in the bay, lower bay down in Cape Charles, down in the tunnel and whatnot. But I actually started throwing them last year around the bay bridge with actual same style of fishing with hard crab. Mm -hmm. And, you know, quarter hard crab. And I actually cut a lot of rockfish that way. Nice. So, you know, something you can adapt to up here and, you know, kind of use it for rockfish too. Yeah, absolutely. And that big giant bulb of lead mm -hmm. at the bottom keeps that hook up, which is nice. Right. You're not getting snagged on the bottom when you are bottom fishing. Yep. They're great for tall. They're great for, you know, wreck fishing and whatnot. So definitely want to check those out. We have a large assortment. That's just a mere small selection mm -hmm. of the sizes we have. We have a ton of sizes. Yep. Um, I think we start at half ounce. We go all the way up to eight ounces. Mm -hmm. So whether you're in the bay and you're jigging or if you're going to be off the, you know, off the beach, you know, fishing out in the ocean and, and doing some wreck fish fishing in deeper mm -hmm. water, there's definitely a size for you out there. going to be great. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's move to some hats. These are, these are pretty cool hats. We got some student new stuff in from Salt Life. So we got the cool camo bucket hat. And then I'll talk about this blue one from Salt Life. It's got some vents on the side. So it's going to help uh, you know, on those hot days where you need the shade, but it's a little too hot to put a lid on. This is going to help you vent out a little bit, which is nice. So a little drawstring, a little drawstring in the back to kind of conform to your head. Um, and they're making a comeback. Off. They are. They they're are. They're wearing them. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a whole nother look and everybody loves them. They are. They, yep. they are. They're really cool. So we got this Daiwa bag. Let's talk about this thing. Oof. It's kind of like the elephant in the room, right? Yep. This thing is huge, but this is so cool. You open up this side, you flip this down, and voila, look at all those Plano boxes, boxes that are in there. Sure. Yeah. Tons of storage, lots of room to put all kinds of fun accessories. You're fitting the standard larger size mm -hmm. boxes. You're getting the smaller size boxes in here. Uh, lots and lots of storage in the middle. Really cool, unique design. Lots of Velcro to, to put Velcro accessories on. <clears throat> Handle on the top. It comes with a shoulder strap. And that's just the one side. Wait, there's more. There's no, even no. more boxes on this side that are, that yeah. are in addition. So tons of tackle that can fit in here. Um, and then not only do they have all of that, but on the sides, they've got pockets as well, large pockets here, sunglass pockets. That's my favorite feature. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> nothing like protecting those expensive polarized sunglasses. Um, little uh, see-through pocket here, Velcro on the outside. Yeah. So, again, you can buy Velcro accessories to stick to those at. This is a, this is a really cool yes. bag. Especially really. for you guys who want to keep a lot of plugs in there and whatnot, keep it organized. Yeah definitely going to be great for that yeah and you know these soft glide bags have been around for quite a mm -hmm. while now and it's really the way to go because i can deck this bag out yeah. for the bay and put my jigging stuff in here but then if i'm going to be going down to the beach and i'm not using all my jig heads and my soft plastics and i can take all these boxes out and put new boxes mm -hmm. in that have my beach stuff or, right. or my snake head or whatever yeah. it is so um really really cool design to this bag um big fan of this one this is going to be a, a, a cool one the, the uh, tackle barn bag from Dial. Um, so let's move to some clothing. Yeah. We've got, like I said, spring is here. We're getting a lot of our spring stuff in. We got some lady stuff in. We got all the spring colors. Oh yeah. So we got Salt Life uh, uh, shorts. We've got some Salt Life ladies apparel here. We've got some uh, tank tops. Tank tops that are pretty cool. Got a little anchor with the rose. We got some palm trees. Thinking of warmer weather already. Making that trip down south in the That's spring right. for right. spring break. Uh, right. Definitely gonna have to stop by and get some of those. Cool. Um, yeah. Cool uh, pockets all over the back. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. And then we've also got some shirts over here as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got a couple of different lady shirts. We've got, uh, these are all uh, sun style shirts, real lightweight, mm -hmm. nice and cool. They've got the, the hood to keep you protected. We've got the zip, still has the hood, which is nice. Uh, nice lightweight material is going to be really nice out on the water um, or even just kind of wandering the beach. Especially got, fishing all day long. That's right. what keeps you. Yep. Mahi Mahi, great for your offshore trip. Keep you nice and dry, keep you nice and cool. So these are going to be uh, all displayed in the clothing room. Mm -hmm. And then we'll end it with some new wine that we have. So this is really cool. This is from Proud Pour. Um, so we have a, um, which one do you have here? So you've got the Pinot Noir Rosé, mm -hmm. which is a really cool one. So the cool thing about this company is they are donating portions of the proceeds to Reef restoration mm -hmm. with the rosé, 
And then with this Cabernet, uh, I'm sorry, with the Sauvignon Blanc, they're actually doing oyster restoration. Ooh, Not nice. only that, but you get this cool little oyster shell with every single nice. bottle. So really, really <clears throat> cool. It's always nice, you know, you're, we're grabbing these to have a nice weekend and relax. It's nice that we know what we're giving back. Right, right. definitely yeah. something cool from all these companies doing that. Definitely yeah. goes a long way. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Well, that about does it for us. We appreciate you guys watching this week's What's Hot. We look forward to seeing you guys next week. Yep. Good luck have out there, one. have fun.